Hi everyone, Tracy here from Art Fiber Stitch. We did this last time, made this cover, covered a book with nice handmade paper in it and I just thought well sometimes let's pop something in and I'll show you what we can be doing and I thought uh, let's make it an amalgamation of, of different things. I think you could try different techniques, you could do some drawing, write down your ideas, just grab a pressed leaf. Look at these, I found these on my morning morning walk. Aren't they gorgeous, just as they are. Just beautiful. So, yes, I was just thinking about grabbing some card. I just ripped a piece then. Camera wasn't working when I, of course I did it, but we'll catch up now. And that's a piece of linen. I've just torn the edges a little bit to uh, give me a bit of a interesting. See now already, and this you you find this in scrapbooking, but there's no reason we can't stitch and we can't, you know, add uh, organic things. Just mix up your crafts a bit. So I was looking at that, I grabbed something that had a bit of colour, I didn't know whether to use it or not, but you know, yeah, something like that. That would be a great background and we can just, a leaf there and you know, done. Maybe you could write something poetic. Um, yeah, but I just thought something simple and we'll just have a look how it, how it goes together. So here I have... A little piece of cardboard I've ripped an edge on it because it was quite nice like that and then I use this this is just a foam core board but anything you know a sponge something that's got a bit of give and I used a larger needle and I just poked holes in it like that you see and what ended up happening was I've got the holes ready to sew on because sometimes it might be hard to pull through so that's what you just got to look for is it going to be hard to pull through is it going to uh, break on me you know especially something like this when we get to this leaf I imagine we'll have to think well and truly about how we're going to do that but at the moment we're just on this so what I would try and do is grab a thread uh, here we go I did have one out I'm just using natural to start with, natural colour. I'm just going to thread my needle. Now, I think I would avoid doing any uh, knots on this. I don't really need to, you know. And uh, there's no reason, too, why I couldn't do a little dob of glue stick there, I think, to hold it a little bit. Hold it where I want it. So I just go like that. Some of them on the center. And not this one. I'm thinking later on you could just glue that in. That's why I chose to put it on a little piece of cardboard. But you know, we might get around to making fabric paper and doing all sorts. Lots of fun things to be done. But at the moment. Just holding that down a bit so it stays. And I am just... What am I going to do? Not sure. All right. Going up there. I'm going to leave a tail behind. I wonder if I can do this at the same time. In that case, it might come off a little bit further over. Oops, no, I just pulled that right through. That's what I was saying about leaving a little tail. See, like that. Now, if you were worried about it coming through, you could grab a bit of sticky tape. Let's do that. There we go. Done. Without the big bulky knot, you see. That's all we're after. And let's try this. 
，这边再好起来。Oh, of course, that's the problem, isn't it? We can't see. <laughs> All right, so you could do that though, couldn't you? And then you can see. Then you're like coming up through a button. Poke it in from the front if you can't, if you're trying to line them up. So what I'm loving is the mixture of both of being able to use cloth and paper together. Isn't that lovely? Imagine the extra elements you could add. See? Uh, what else? Oh yeah, I suppose I'll go all the way down. And just like when we're slow stitching, I think I could go. Oh, it is slow stitching. A slow stitching project, and we're using paper. How's that? Now, I'm not using a light, delicate paper because a stitch might go all the way through and pull through so I've got something quite robust behind those holes and I'll see where they come through at the back I came through my sticky tape and then here now this is what I want to say is that there are some you know we don't want sticky tape all over it you could uh, you can go under something look at that and we've ended that one off as well and you see and it's still relatively flat so that was the, what I was thinking and of course then you can add something else but what I really wanted to see was how could we get this leaf on there is it going to stitch through it you know what can we do So I'm very curious. Would I like two on that? It depends how hard it is to do, really, doesn't it? Hmm. All right. Oh, do I want a bigger one? Or do I want a rougher one? I'm going to stick with my one for now whilst we're experimenting and we see how we do it. Well, once again, I'm, you know, we could, we can easily glue. I'm just going to glue just, just, just with an ordinary glue stick at the moment. 
Um, but you know, you could get better glues and do it just like that. Okay. So I've picked up a nice shiny thread. It is a nice buttermilk yellow and I've got two strands of it. And um, once again, I think I'll leave a tail behind. Oops, there's some glue on my finger. And the idea is I'm just going to come up in the center, uh, one side of that uh, central line down the leaf. And just like the veins in the leaf, I'm going to go out on an angle downwards and into the, into the fabric and uh, paper the other side. Of the leaf you see and then I'll go underneath them again a little bit further down on that central stem and then out again so here we go yep and then down at an angle and over into that there we are and if I just keep doing that then what we're doing is we're doing a, those decorative veins at the same time as we're attaching it really well now this time I'm using a nice thin needle because I don't want that um, that leaf to crack you know I don't want it to fall apart I think it's all right but the best way to handle that would be to use a very fine needle once I'm down near the tip I'll turn around and go back up again remembering that angle Just about done. When we are done, we'll have to take that thread through and just try and uh, go go over a and around a, um, a a line of thread that's there. Just go around it a couple of times, and then maybe just a little a little bit of uh, sticky tape again. It's done. There we are. It's adhered there nicely. So everything that we stitched is on that piece of cardboard. And now we'll put the cardboard onto the paper. And for that, I'm trying this glue stick, but it's not a really good glue stick. So I'm thinking that I will try both. Now you can glue, or if you've ever done scrapbooking, you might know of a product that's double-sided tape. And it's really good. So that will hold it onto our lovely uh, handmade paper page. So get some links of this double-sided tape. Comes on a roll like that. And then you attach it to the back of your picture. Chop off that bit, that's a bit long. Put it somewhere else, so make use of it. There we are. Now once you've stuck it there, you can peel that backing paper off the tape and there you go, it's ready to stick somewhere else. So we've already got glue on our page and now we've got some tape so it's really going to hold nicely. So now turn it over, a little bit more glue in case it dried whilst we were mucking around and down it goes. There we are. That's how it's done. And I think that looks really pretty on there. So like I say, it doesn't take much to create a little bit of art, something to inspire you. And like I say, nature inspires me. So I'm going to make a little note here to say that. And maybe I'll even draw a few leaves. And that's what your little book is for, your journal. You can write ideas or poetry or put pictures in or draw pictures. and Just notes to self, you know, whatever is going to make you feel good. Anytime you try a new technique and you want to record what you did, pop it in your book. So I'm uh, thinking I'm finished. I hope you've enjoyed this little project. We'll do a few more for this book at some stage. And uh, my name's Tracy. Art Fibre Stitch is my business. I thank you for watching. And if you have liked it, do press like and subscribe to my channel. 
And we'll make some more of these lovely things in the future, I think. Something nice to pop in the book to give us incentive to keep doing it. So I hope you really enjoyed that. My details are all below if you're trying to find me. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching.